All right, we are back, and I'm featuring some fields of green, some fresh hop fields of green. I've actually showed this beer off before, but it was last year. So this one is from uh, Fort George right there. See, it's kind of blended in. And um, this one is a wet hop IPA, 7.6% <clears throat> alcohol. We got some Coleman Agriculture Citra hops in here. Let's see what this thing, see what this thing looks like, smells like, tastes like. Oh, nice. So we got our Rubens Brews, Nonic pint glass here. And that has a nice glow to it. Let's take a swig. Okay, so typical citra, really bright, really forward citrus. This might be a single hop. There was nothing else listed. <clears throat> I'm a big fan of the uh, Fields of Green, like, base IPA. This is their wet hop version featuring citra. Really good shit. Citra is one of those big popular hops you can't really go wrong with. All right, I was a bit conflicted this morning. You can see over there. Uh, I had the day off, and my Saturday shave I didn't get to do because I was rushed out the door because we were on our way to Seattle. And so, <clears throat> didn't get to do that, so I was thinking about doing my Saturday shave today. But one, it wasn't a menthol shave, and it wasn't a Maddie shave. So I was like, the fuck do I do? I'm kind of thrown off now. So I push, I'm going to push that back to tomorrow, Tuesday, and I'm going to do a menthol shave this morning with Northern Elixir from uh, Noble Otter. This one has that fucking real cool label with like the gold specks and everything. You can see it reflects in the light. And then the dude with like the wizard sorting hat, some people say, but that fucking grumpy wizard hat on top. I like it. I like it a lot. We got the scent notes right there. Eucalyptus, lavender, peppermint, cedarwood, vetter, vetiver, and frost. This is a great scent. It's got some zing to it. It's bright. We actually bought some eucalyptus at the, uh, at the um, Pike's Place Market yesterday, along with some flowers. Uh, so I'm enjoying the eucalyptus scent in the house. We got uh, the Strike Gold Shave, hand tied knot soaking in the bougie brush bath. That's in our uh, our Viking soaps handle right there. Absolute stunner, absolute beauty. And I'll give you a, a little look. We got some gelling going on, intermittent gelling. <clears throat> So let's get to lathering. Like I said, got it in the trusty Lancaster bowl. I have not abandoned the uh, the Lancaster bowl, as some people have. Very disappointing. <laughs> Very disappointing. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> no, it's all good. Um. So yeah, I was going to default back to a Maddie shave, but I had an unscented shave yesterday, and I kind of didn't want to do a, um, you know, like, single note, basic soap type shave again today. So I was like, okay, we're going menthol Monday. I told you it wouldn't be long. Like, I, would, I, I was going to participate in, in Maddie Mondays, but I, I can't stick with it, like, for the rest of time. So, I defaulted back to um, Menthol Mondays, went with some Noble Otter. Haven't used Noble Otter in, in a, quite a while as well, so I look forward to that. I don't remember if um, this base was the soap base that was kind of like the updated Noble Otter base. I don't even know what he called it. I don't know if he called it like number two, like V2 or something. I have no idea. I can't even remember. I remember his update was kind of slight, 
like slight differences and it really wasn't hyped all that much he just kind of released it and it was good stuff and the price didn't really change and that was it and since his releases are kind of like three months apart ish like two three months apart I just kind of that's just where it stayed but um noble otter is good stuff the old stuff and the new stuff and I think we got a pretty good looking lather going on here yesterday I shaved uh, did a travel shave so it's good to be back in the home home den If I remember correctly, this um, Northern Elixir had some zing to it, but it wasn't uh, nothing crazy. Uh, just a pleasant cooling. As a matter of fact, we might as well add a little bit extra, break out the menth dealer. So might as well. Crank it up a notch. <clears throat> Couldn't hurt. Couldn't hurt anything. Lather's lather's looking pretty great to be honest. Just gonna add like another dip of water. It's just taking it, so might as well give it to it okay oh yeah so here we go this is where we're at I like the uh, the longer handle on this Viking soaps brush it's kind of like an old-school barbershop type handle tall and skinny I like it I don't have many brushes in this style and um, I should kind of seek out more because I do like it like this this like tall and skinny handle it helps because the Lancaster bowl is um, like somewhat tall because it helps in in keeping the lather inside and not like going over the edge but then with, if you have like a chubby style handle, that means your hand is really deep inside the bowl. But with a tall handle like this, it's like, you know, the, the bottom part's pretty much untouched other than what was on my fingertip right there. Other than that, it's pretty much untouched. I kind of like that. This, uh, the scent on this is um pretty good like probably a six out of ten or above maybe a seven out of ten because i think it's because those top notes are kind of real bright so they're easy to perceive so it seems pretty fucking strong like the peppermint and whatnot peppermint and eucalyptus and then of course that 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 frost which you know frost isn't really a scent note as more of like a a scene a scene setter type of descriptor and you know it has the whole like mystical kind of background of like the uh, aurora or space type thing going on and so frost just kind of tells you has menthol in it and then on top of that it's um kind of on the on the scent itself it kind of gives you that perceived like chill you know and I, I like that a lot so here's my whacker master class razor has the uh, chevalier on the scales or on the spine there french point love this thing favorite straight razor in the den I picked this one up from uh, Griffith Shaving Goods, I believe.
and um, I think they gave a fair price. Can't remember off the top of my head what it was, but seemed fair. I always got to get creative trying to push the beard out of the way, but uh, we get her done. <clears throat> this thing is just smooth sharp, not necessarily sticky sharp, but smooth sharp, and um, it's like has good weight to it, although you know, I'm not one of those guys that thinks weight does anything. I know others do. And others kind of default to the you're not shaving the mustache and chin area. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying if I were to uh, let the weight go on the spine of this razor. Uh, yeah, that weight's not cutting anything. Yeah, even when I apply a little extra pressure, that weight isn't cutting anything. Funny. You would think it would. <laughs> and especially the one where you're going from south to north really let the weight take over when you're doing that pass. <laughs> I'm just talking shit, guys. I know. I know. <laughs> you don't like hearing it. So smooth, so smooth. We had a good trip in Seattle. Um, we dropped my mom, my mother-in-law off at the airport and we had a nice dinner and we had a nice breakfast at, at uh, Biscuit Bitch. I don't know if you remember a couple episodes back I, uh, I mentioned Biscuit Bitch. Well, we actually had breakfast there while we were visiting. <clears throat> Good to be back at old Biscuit Bitch. <laughs> they had the fucking jams playing while everybody was out on the street corner waiting for their name to get called. And, uh, they just, uh, it's just fucking raining, pouring down. There's still a line of people waiting. to get their breakfast sandwiches or biscuits and gravy, whatever they ordered. And uh, love that place. Didn't love waiting in the rain, but I <laughs> love that kind of quick breakfast, getting it right out on the street. That's something that, um, that you don't see like in a smaller town like mine. Although, Yakima isn't necessarily small, it's him, or like a medium-sized city, but that's kind of shit you see like in the big city. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, real good breakfast. Then we went and hit up multiple breweries, tried their fresh hop options. I got to try some Oktoberfest options, which um, is nice because I feel like my city up and forgot about Oktoberfest. <laughs> Some motherfuckers were all about uh, the fresh hops, and they like, phew, they just totally forgot about Oktoberfest. Pissed me off. We had a good time. We still made it home in a good hour. Watched some TV and relaxed. Had some real good pizza while I was up there. Went to a pizza place that um, I've been wanting to go to for a long time. But the wait was always too long for me to give it a chance. And so, funny enough, they either moved 
into a neighborhood near like some of my favorite breweries up there in Seattle or they opened a second location near some of my favorite breweries and um, we were able to just walk right up it was fucking awesome walk right up put our order in go down to the brewery while our order's being made then come pick it up and bring it back and eat it at the brewery it was fantastic it couldn't have worked out any better and the uh, the pizza was fucking bomb dude the the sauce at serious pie had my like mouth tingling like it was good shit my taste buds were hopping it was good I definitely nicked something. You could probably see it here in a little bit. The chill is pretty nice right now. I'd say it has worked itself up to a medium chill on this second pass. All right. I'm just going to let the weight of the razor as I move up <clears throat> do all the cutting. Yep. The weight of the razor did that, not the edge. Definitely not me pushing in a forward motion up while still applying a light touch. Definitely not that. It was the weight that did that. Let the weight of the razor do it, right? <clears throat> we all know that. Let the weight of the razor do it. Now, if I just took my hand off and just dropped it on my neck, the weight of the razor would keep me from cutting myself and just apply that perfect amount of pressure all on its own. I only keep my hand on the razor simply so I can try to mimic what the weight does because it's the weight of the razor that does everything. Just let the weight of the razor do it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can tell the weight of the razor has been doing this for years. And the weight of the razor has developed adequate technique of its own. I, I'm, it's really a wonder to behold what the weight of the razor can do all on its own. <clears throat> I'm impressed. Look at that weight just cut. In a south to north motion. Absolutely impressive. <laughs> Alright, I'm laying it on a bit thick. But hopefully you get what I'm saying. <laughs> That's just something I thought about for quite some time now. It's like the weight of the razor ain't doing shit. I'm doing it. The edge of the blade is doing it. In my opinion. <clears throat> Might be a different experience, you know, having to wrangle a heavier razor, you know, having, you know, maybe like a bit of fatigue during a shave or something like that. That might be so, you know, it might be a real thing because the weight of the razor might make you your arm a little bit more tired before the course of the shave runs out. I don't know. I don't know about the weight of the razor doing the cutting. I'm doing the cutting. <clears throat> the edge of the blade is doing the cutting. There we go. Had to get that lather out of there. I hate it when the lather kind of gets between the scales. It scares the shit out of me. All right, let's rinse this off. 
face feels very nice. Feels smooth. Let's check the neck. That thing must not have been too bad. Oh yeah. Neck feels pretty smooth as well. Maybe I could have uh, got a little bit closer, but it's my day off. I don't give a fuck. Get this holiday off. I'm not going anywhere. I don't have any plans. So, no need to go any, any further. Pretty fucking close shave. Clean shave. Only thing I did was drive over that bump. No problems. Good in my book. <clears throat> it's always a pleasure to use that whacker. And, uh, I didn't talk too much about the uh, hand tied knot. It just, it did its thing. Like, it was enjoyable. It did its thing. Um, it whipped up a nice lather. It didn't eat it or hog it. The Noble Otter did well. Whipped up into like a nice low structure, high density, creamy lather. It was just one hell of a shave with everything working in harmony. And uh, that's the way we like it. I can tell that dense Noble Otter Soap is not wanting to leave my beard. Which is always annoying. But uh, we'll get the rest off cam. <clears throat> clean up we will put the matching splash on for you guys right there northern elixir same kind of um popping gold reflective label and let's see there it is got some info about ingredients and whatnot let's give that a, a go this one is completely clear. It's not milky or anything like that. Beautiful scent. Like this would be a good one for the summertime, but it's kind of a kind of universal enough or, you know, yeah, universal to be used year round. But I think it would be especially nice in the summer with that cooling and whatnot. Oh yeah. And now the now the cheeks are tingling and the face is feeling nice and supple. I like it. That's what I'm fucking talking about right there. So Noble Otter, Northern Elixir. Good scent, good performance. Did its thing. The Whacker Masterclass French Point. Awesome razor. My favorite razor in my den. Did its thing. The Viking Soaps Handle. Strike Gold Shave with a Stripe of Blood. Um, hand Tied Knot. Did its thing. Made a nice lather. Lancaster Bowl. Did its thing. Helped me with those beautiful ridges. The towel. Did its thing to the best of its ability. My beard is a hard motherfucker to, <laughs> to clean off. And then we'll finish where we started with the uh, the beer here. Looks like fucking orange juice or some shit. So cheers, guys. I hope you have a good Monday and a good rest of your week. Thank you, as always, for the support. I feel cheesy saying it. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll catch you guys on the next one.